Welcome back to Speargrass Forge. If you're new here, thanks for coming. If you come back, thanks for returning. Today, I'm going to be attempting to turn my log splitter into a forge press. Stick around. Singing true, rely, you rely at it. Singing true, rely, you rely at it. Singing true, rely, you rely at it. So now we're getting to the fun bit. So I've cut two uh, 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square plates, which will be sitting against these two points. Uh, and on here, I will be welding some angle iron in order to hold the uh, hold the dies in. So I've got to clean these off. These have just been cut. I've got to clean these off, get them ready to weld. But before I weld them on, I'll be putting those. Uh, putting the angle iron on in order to uh, where the plates will be attached, where the, where the dies will be attached. And then it'll be getting into making some basic dies and probably testing this thing out. Um, once these are on, it's pretty much done. So I'll get to uh, putting, I'll clean these off, welding the brackets on. Uh, I'll show you the I'll show you the process of me welding the uh, putting uh, putting together the brackets. I might not show you the welding on because I don't want to damage my camera. Um, and then it'll be welding these plates onto their respective areas. And then we'll be getting into making some dies, just some basic uh, drawing out dies. I think I'm going to start off with, uh, and we'll go from there. So stick around. Uh, hopefully this isn't boring you too much. Hopefully this is uh, nice and interesting and maintaining your attention. Um, but I'm excited, so stick around and I'll see you again shortly. Alrighty, so I've got the, uh, the brackets cut out and one to go across the bottom. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to uh, line these up to weld these on to the actual uh, plate so, that's better right, so let's lock this down now this I've got a line scribe just down here just down the side that um, shows me square so I'm just going to bring that back into square at the moment that's still not quite okay. Ah, oh, that'll do. That's all set up, so now I've just got to weld it along there. So uh, I'm going to switch this camera off, so I don't, da again, so I don't damage the camera, weld this up. Back in a moment. Alrighty, so now the base is done uh, for the die. We've got um, all these these two angle irons welded up and a base in. So now uh, this flat bar can just slide. So now this flat bar can just slide straight in and it can sit against the bottom. So as you can see, it fits nice and easy, but it's not too loose. Um, that's the most important bit. It's still a bit hot at the moment. Now at the base here. Uh, there's a little bit of weld sticking up, so I've got to grind that flat. But other than that, that's just about ready to go. I might have to, um, at some stage, cut uh, these extra bits off so that the gap between here is a little bit wider. But for the moment, um, it's nice and nice and wide, and it can, so I can, um, you know, slide dies in, and it, and it lines up nice and easy. So that is the first one. I've got to get on to doing the second one uh, very shortly. Um, and then it's basically grind these off and then weld them to the thing. So I'll get into doing the second die uh, now, the second die holder, sorry. And then uh, and I'll see you back at the uh, at the press when we start putting these on. Alrighty, so the plates are now done. They're all uh, ground off flat on the bottom, and now it's just a matter of uh, welding them to their respective points. So I'm going to get into that. And uh, just going to tack weld these one, this one on so it sits square, and then I'll take this off and weld it. And this one, I've got to make sure it sits square because it's a little. This 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 part here is a little bit angled, um, 
and angled back so if I, if I weld it on square to that plate it's going to sit forward a little bit so I want to kind of weld it flat which will give it a little bit of a, um, a gap here so I might have to get some plates um, uh, some, and find some plates and just weld up so, that, so it supports the distance in that gap and uh, and then I will go from there so um, sorry about the chopping and changing on this on this build but uh, you know it's 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 taken me a couple of days to get to this point and uh, rather than documenting you know uh, 24 to 38 hours worth of building um, you know you only getting to see the highlights of what actually being done so it does take a little while particularly because I'm fabricating on the fly and uh, yeah so go from there Alrighty, so this is now set up to weld. I've got a couple of um, things in there as spaces just to fill up that gap while I weld it. Uh, weld up here, weld down. That's the plan. So I've got this uh, magnet in here just to keep everything nice and square. It's sitting square with the bar and with the uh, with the plate. So uh, I'll get into welding that, and it's getting very close to being done. Alrighty, so the moment of truth. Just uh, got a couple of dies tack welded in at the moment, just to see if this works. See if this lines up. And look, it does. Lines up perfectly. Just uh, show you over the top. Looks like uh, two tack welds there have just popped off, but that's okay. But that lines up absolutely perfectly. So now, I'm just going to take these these uh, dies back out, weld them up properly. Oop. So now I'm just going to take these dies back out, weld them up properly, and uh, we can do uh, an actual have a look see. I'm excited. It looks freaking awesome. It's coming together. So just on a handy cam moment, just showing you the uh, jerry rigged at the moment uh, foot control system. Uh, we've got a cable that runs up to the handle, and it's currently. Uh, attached of course this cannot slide up and over this handle so it's fairly well secure and it runs down I intend on putting a pulley just here matter of fact this is the pulley that I'll be attaching just here so that uh, this cable can run through and then it'll come down onto this foot pedal so that way I can depress the pedal and I just Show you just here as I depress the pedal it puts it, it pulls this lever down and of course the spring in this lever is enough to return it back to back to uh, a cent, a cent of it oh. the spring in this lever is enough to return it back to all the way up so it's uh, this is just it um, this is just how it is now now another thing I'll be I'm looking at doing is rather than moving this button I'm intending on putting a rod that actually engages this button and uh, whilst pulling that down at the same time so it will run a similar cable system from here across and down but just to show you that this all works I'm going to have my camera in one hand my foot on the pedal and here and ready and if I let go of the button of course keeping my foot on the pedal that stays as it and releasing and it goes all the way back to the beginning so I'm going to finish setting up this uh, this foot pedal system now and uh, I'll be back when it's all done see you shortly and the foot pedal is now done running up the pulleys running up to the lever and a switch that actually runs uh, pushes that button. So just to show that it works Put on the pedal Look mama no hands
Now how that works, you've got a spring here just to help it come back. Piece of plate with a tube welded on, these brackets welded on and a piece of threaded bar running through. These cables, of course, through a pulley just here. So from the side, these cables run up. And one runs to the actual lever, the outside one. The inside run through another pulley across to this arm here, which is on this button here. And of course this arm is just bolted to a, a bar that's bolted across the frame. So, I'll heat up some metal and uh, we'll see how this thing actually runs once the paint's dry. Because uh, this is still a little bit wet the paint on this. See how it works. So, now I'm going to heat up some bar, rearrange you so you can see in here, and we'll, uh, we'll test it out. Alrighty, so this is a uh, quarter inch by one inch bar. Let's see how it goes. Whee. Squished it like it was nothing. And that's only four ton, five ton. So let's heat this back up. I'll drop the square and dies into it and see how we go with those. That's how easy it is to pull out the dies. Drop a new set of dies in. I'll back back with you a moment. And see how this one goes. A little bit of a kick up there somewhere. Obviously the uh, foot pedal still needs a little bit of work, but all in all. And I mean that's at a black heat and it's still managing to squish it, so I'm rather impressed with that. Probably going to have to do just a couple adjustments just to make sure it works 100%. And of course, I need to get a little bit more practice with it. One more try after a bit of adjustment. And I reckon, I'm not exactly neat with it, but I reckon that's uh, not too bad. Now, just to show the conversion back to being a wood splitter, take these dies out. And then,
Take this straight off. And it's back to being a, a log filler. And then when I need to use it, just straight back on. Drop in the top die and the bottom die. And she's ready to go. So thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click here to check out my previous videos and just here if you haven't already subscribed. Check out the links down below from my print bar and spread shirt stores and where you can pick up some merchandise for Speargrass Forge. And I hope to catch you all again next time. Cheers.